media model accused of causing a deadly crash was back in court today. This after prosecutors charged her with new counts of DUI manslaughter. Our crime specialist Bridget Matter has the judge's ruling. We learned today that 12 hours after the crash, the driver, Macy Lathers, had no recollection of what happened after being given Narcan. She will remain behind bars as she awaits trial. Macy Lathers will stay in jail as she awaits trial after a judge called her extremely dangerous. She appeared in court this morning visibly distraught with her head in her hands. The social media model is accused of killing two people after police say she crashed her car at almost 80 miles per hour in the city of Miami last month. Investigators say she was high on pink cocaine at the time of the crash and should not have been behind the wheel because she had a suspended license. Lathers, according to investigators, blew a red light speeding south on North Miami Avenue when she slammed into an SUV. Both cars collided with a sedan with three people inside, killing two. Today, a Miami police officer who responded to the scene took to the stand and said several witnesses believe Lathers was under the influence of something. Investigators say Lathers told them she was under the influence of Tusi and she was from the future with a crystal ball. Lathers is facing DUI manslaughter charges among other felony charges. A trial for this case will likely take place in November. Lathers is being held behind bars on no bond. In Miami, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. <sighs> Only on Christ 17 TV. Back up, Side Joe here with another one where today we in the crazy state of Florida and we are in Miami. Where a model, Instagram model, got into a horrible crash going 80 miles per hour, struck a car with three folks in it, and killed two people. <sighs> Getting high and driving, drinking and driving is never a good thing because usually innocent people, families, get get destroyed, killed, kids get killed, and it's just a horrible thing, man. It's just not a good thing. It's not a good look. It's not something you should do, you know, and I would never hop in a car with somebody who cannot drive because they've been drinking all night. That's just most, the, the worst idea you can ever do. So, this lady had to be brought back to life with Narcan. So, she say she's she was on Tusi, which is pink cocaine, and she's from the future. She has a crystal ball. Well, did her crystal ball know that she's going to jail? Did the crystal ball know that she's getting a manslaughter charge? I don't know because this is this is real real different because this is a new drug that just came out not too long ago. I just did a thing maybe a month back on this drug, pink cocaine, Tusi, is stronger than the shit they've been having out already called the Trank, and it's got fentanyl, Trank in it, and some more shit that I have nothing in it. Is good. It's just some shit that they just made, shook up. Here, take it. And because it's pink, you want to try it. Be oh shit, this is pink cocaine. And the crazy part is, they said it don't even got cocaine inside it. If so, it's just a little tiny bit. Not saying that's a good thing either, but I'm just saying this is shit with fentanyl and all kind of shit that will kill you. So. She killed two motherfuckers, right? I'm sorry. T two people. I'm sorry. But she died and she's and she's the lucky one to come back to life. Ain't that some shit? Because of some Narcan. That's crazy that you can go out here, get high as a kite, drive 80 miles an hour like a lunatic in the streets, Hit a car, kill two people, and you're the one who gets saved. You're the one that gets saved. Ain't that about a bitch? You're the one who's alive. You're going to jail, though. You definitely 
on the jail. You don't remember anything that happens, but you say you want to see and you're from the future. I don't want no drug that 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 is doing that. I'm from the future. I got a crystal ball. Did your crystal ball say you going to jail, you fucking dummy? You just ruin a whole family's life. They got to make two funerals for some people that were just driving, who knows, to the store, get something to eat, going home, coming from work, who knows. But you killed these people. High on Tusi, pink cocaine, drugs, period. But you're the one who gets brought back to life with Narcan while the other two victims of the crash die. Ain't that how it goes? Ain't that how it goes? When, why couldn't it have been the other way? Where you're the one who died and they live. Not say I want anybody to die, but you were the one getting high on drugs while these folks are just trying to get from A to B and end up getting ran into by a car that's going 80 miles an hour. Do you know the impact of someone going across and a car smashing it? That car could have been ripped in half. I don't know how all three folks did not die in that car crash. It's crazy to me. But people, gotta be on the lookout for this new shit. They're putting shit out here to kill people. I mean, this is not even like, like the 80s, 90s, or even the early... 2000s where, of course, it's drugs. It's bad drugs. Drugs are bad, period. But people weren't dying for doing it. I mean, you would get some, you would get some ODs, but not like how it is now. People are dropping like flies. I'm gonna tell you some shit. Not even bullshitting you. A couple days ago. Couple days ago. Somebody who I know very well, right? Grown man now. Been knowing him since a kid. OD'd for the third time. And lucky his friend was there to bring him back to life with Narcan. Okay? And he was buying crystal on the streets of San Francisco. And somebody had gave him some shit with that fucking fentanyl inside the crystal. And he overdosed. He died. The Narcan bring him back to life. Okay? And this is his third time OD. And you would think by now you would be like, listen, I'm done with fucking drugs. You want to do something? Smoke some weed. Okay? Have a beer. But don't go in the streets trying to find some shit from whoever you can get some Shit from, because these motherfuckers aren't playing fair. They trying to make money, and they don't care if you die or not. But what kind of person selling drugs wants their customer to die and not come back and spend more cash to me is crazy. That's crazy. You're just selling shit to kill motherfuckers. So he had died, and they bring him back to life. He had to spend a whole day in in the hospital before he got released. This shit is happening everywhere. So kids, people, teenagers, youngsters, people my age, 20s, 30s, 40s. Man, leave all that shit alone. You don't know what's going on. Who's putting what in what. Stick to the old school shit. Go to the cannabis club. Buy you some fucking weed. Smoke some weed. Go to the liquor store. Get you a beer. Kick back. Roll you a joint. Pop the top on a beer. And buy something that ain't going to kill you. If you want to do something like that, do the tree. Smoke some tree. Drink some beer. Take you a shot. But please, leave the shit you're buying off the streets alone. In these big cities, and these small towns, the shit is laced and people are dropping dead. Teenagers. Babies are crawling around the floor and these people who might drop something, the baby grabs it, now the baby dies. I mean, it's just not cool. I mean, it's going on everywhere, and we need to stop the bullshit. This bra, I mean, this girl on Tusi, which is pink 
cocaine got her tripping so hard she thought she was from the future. Now, do you want to be that high where you think you're from the future and that shit is going to kill you and they got to bring you back to life with Narcan? No, thank you. I am i don't want to sign up. I don't want no part of that bullshit. Man, we need to get these kids on the right track because once you start doing that, the addiction is 10, 20, 100 times worse than heroin, they say. And I grew up with family and friends on hair on, and I know how addicting that shit is. You get sick if you don't got it. You do shit you never would do sober to get it. And it's just some bullshit, man. So with that being said, please, people, don't fuck with this new shit out there because this new shit will kill you. Go to the cannabis, go to the cannabis club, grab you some tree, grab you some wax, grab you some weed pens, even grab you some edibles. And if you drink, go buy you a bottle of wine. Go buy you 12-pack of fucking Modelo's. Go buy you a fifth of Henny, a fifth of Jameson. Get you some pickle back, some pickle juice, and shot one Jameson, shot pickle juice. You never had nothing like it, and you can thank me later for this one. But please... Stay on your toes. So with that being said, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. And remember, it costs nothing to push that button. So with that being said, prayers to the families that were lost in that crash. And I will catch you on the flip side.